Can you show off my tattoo in the video? Sure. I'll just casually go like this the whole time. I am super excited because Paige is going to take a boot making class with me this summer and make her first pair of cowboy boots. And the cool thing about it is I'm having her do a set of tops with butterflies and flowers. This is actually the same design that was on my first pair of boots. And there they are, my first pair of boots. I am far too lazy to climb up on that shelf and get them down. Just admire all those loathsome pink details, the little hearts and flowers. Fortunately, Paige has way too much sense to take it that far. Hi. This is my 10 day boot making class. My students are Paige and Susan. Hello. See this wrinkle right here? Yes. Does that mean I should What that tells me is you didn't, these nails could be pulled tighter. So why don't you take these out and do a little more enthusiastic pull there. Instead of, instead of pulling it like that, roll your thumb over. There you go. Roll your thumb over and back. Let go with the, the lasting pull, pullers. There you go. Now put the nail right there. I'm Keep terrified it. for your thumb right now. Keep holding with your thumb and put one on the other side of it. Well, we'd be terrified if it were, if it were your thumb in question. <laughs> yeah. right. Take two. There you go. See, now you don't have that wrinkle wow. there. Yeah, that I love when you pull good. it and it starts to sweat. That means, yes. that means that it's fully saturated with yes. water. That's nice. I've never got to work with a wooden lens before. Now I have one with my name on it. Wow. Such a maze. Yeah, stand this up and I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to draw on there where you'll cut those notches. So you want to go on either side of center like that so that you have a notch to grab and then you're going to cut like that. And then you're going to move over. So here's this is a tab again. Yeah. And then that becomes a notch. Then you move over a little bit more. That's your tab. And there's another notch. You guys could definitely be mafia enforcers. This look like the sort of tools you'd use to chop off someone's pinky finger if they disrespected you. Huh. Or if they don't put your scissors back. That's right. <laughs> Once I find those scissors, I'm going to use them on your pinky <laughs> finger. Okay, can you stop doing it that way? You're driving me crazy. You're not supposed to... Don't do it like this where you're pinching it down and then hammering. Hold it like this. Bring it over. And then hold it down with your thumb. That is what thumbs are for. I was told point blank you're not supposed to do it that way. Okay, well I'm telling you point blank that this is the way you're <laughs> supposed to do it. Marcel said, no one can just hold the leather with their thumb and it not slip back. Who's teaching this class, me or Marcel? You. <laughs> and then slide your thumb over to the end of it. Can I use either thumb? <laughs> if we're using wow. thumbs. Can I use two lasting pliers? Oh goodness, why in the world <laughs> would you ever use two lasting pliers? What is wrong with you? I can do that really well. <laughs> Seriously, child, who taught you? Is that a no? <laughs> if it works for you. Okay, I'm dubious. But... Watch this. Okay, so with this one, I'll pull it and then hold it. Just like with the um, shank pullers. This is wrong. This is an abomination. It is an abomination. <laughs> Plus, it's too far back. Okay, I'll just do it again with my thumb. Just do it again with your thumb. My hammerhead is not 
This is Susan. She's watering her boots right now. Hopefully one day they'll grow up big and strong. Yeah, you can it. Boy, all of yours match up so perfectly. I'm so proud of you. Wow, yay Susan! Yay. Susan has the best side seams. All right, so. Paige does everything wrong. I feel like so this is like on okay. the office, right. but it should just be like my face zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're going to start. <laughs> so you're going to grab the lining leather with your thumb and forefinger and pull it under. Alright, now hold it with both your thumb. Hold it with both your forefingers and then your middle finger. Those were my knees popping. Exactly. Now, bring your again. Now hold it with your left hand. All right. Now, while holding that, put it upside down on the. I can't do it this yeah, way. Yeah, that's fine. Put Here. one right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mom made me this bag for my trip to Rome. It's a pouch and it has elastic straps here. That way I'll be able to carry around my purse, which has enough room for my phone and cards here. The best part about this is that I feel like one of those old western gunmen. Like I can just... However that tune goes. love people throwing credit cards at them. I was gonna try to swipe my card like schwa, but it did it on its own. Okay, stand up and try it again. <laughs> okay, this is my little mini purse. This is a pouch for it. And then it fits best going this way. So it just slides in and then slides back out. Okay. Take two. <laughs> the best part is I feel like one of those old western gunmen. Like I have a thigh holster for my gun. Like I see a purchase that I really want to make and I'm like, Shwa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that seriously needs to be fixed. I'm going to be fired <laughs> so hard. You are going to be fired. You do realize I'm the editor here. <laughs> you can't censor me. I can't censor you. <laughs> censor out everything but that, so people will just have to run wonder what was so bad. Okay, so this episode of It's a Boot Life was filmed directed, edited, produced, everything by me, by Morgan Sorrell. I even played all of the characters in costume. If you look closely at Paige and Su Susan, you can sort of tell that maybe it's a costume, but if you look at Mom, you'll never even know. <laughs>